What are we doing? You gonna choose your weapons. We're getting desserts. Battle for the breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> between Pop Tarts and Toaster Strudels. We're pairing with whiskey because breakfast oh. whiskey oh, is three. I say three each. That's six. Breakfast total. whiskey. We're gonna pair with the whiskey. We're gonna choose our favorite. Okay. And then we're going to have impartial judges. You ready? Yeah. You have no shot. But I, you know what I got though is I've got. Buttered Pop Tarts are tied to parts of my history. So you're saying feelings are more important than facts? Yeah. <laughs> That's science. <laughs> mm. There you go, Lager Spinner. You just want to let the heat melt it. Plain s'more cherry. Mm. Mm. The trick is, <clears throat> you've got to know who your judges are. I know. I'm not telling. Ooh. I don't know how you classify that as breakfast, though. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Nope. That's weird. Oh, wow. I think I have arrived at the perfect Pop tart whiskey. Perfect pop tart whiskey. It's just a bunch of nothing. I'm opening a bag. What well, work? You opened a bag. You have a look at all your little containers. You had to use a knife. Things and this is the equivalent of the butter that you had to pay extra for. This comes in the box. I need to get out of both of the way. How do you know which is which? And then you want to wait until the edges just start to turn little crispy bits. That's the good stuff. Oh, you can hear it too. Oh, yeah. Perfect breakfast whiskey pairing for toaster strudels. Daniel Whittington! Right now, in the whiskey tribe, a war rages across the land. Yes, yes, brother pitted against brother. The community is rending itself apart. <laughs> it is crappy Pop Tarts. No, 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 no. Versus. No, no, no. You're waiting it. You're waiting it. Amazingly superior in every conceivable way, you mouth breathing moron. <laughs> Toaster strudels. I feel like this is revisionist history. Oh, wait. No, we're about to make history. This is breakfast whiskey. I, I'm, I'm fighting an underdog battle here. How so? Because if you go look at all the comments on the show, <laughs> it's like weighted 90% Fuck you, Pop Tart asshole. Strudels are the only thing. Yeah. Well, and well, so I, I sort of feel like I'm in like one of the Gaelic tribes are you? on the um, on the hillside as the Roman Empire comes streaming in on boats, and we're like, ah. The only concern I have about this episode, there's no twist. Yeah. I know what's going to happen. Uh, He's going to lose. No. The best Pop Tart choice possible, and pairing with the whiskey, will lose. I'm not buying it. You gonna prove me wrong? Yeah. Prove yeah. me wrong. All right. There we go. Even the toaster didn't want that. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, but you know all that work you did to try not to burn your fingers? Uh -huh. You know what you're supposed to do with the toaster? Hey, hey, you're crowding me. You're crowding me. <laughs> Pulled some shit from the yard? Yeah. <laughs> it's even got fertilizer on it. <laughs> fertilizer on it. <laughs> That's chemicals. I rinsed it off. No crumbs. <laughs> when you have a guest, you're supposed to bring them a gift. Look at and that. so I just wanted to make sure that um, I give Emma the, the gift that I brought her. Um, which is not for this tasting. So Emma, I just wanted to, uh, this is just as a thank you from, yeah. from me, not Rex. Okay. Uh, for coming down here to judge and how much you like LaFroy Glore. Yeah. You're gracious. Okay, so now let's go ahead. So, your Dunville in a garbage fire, my teeling, and the classic apple <laughs> toaster freaking strudel. Let's see what the judge says. So what have you prepared for me today? 
uh, strawberry unfrosted pop tart, lightly toasted with Irish butter. And I'm pairing with it, I chose a Dunville single malt Irish whiskey, Belfast. And I think what it does is this is kind of a melon fruity, light Irish whiskey, and it all the melon notes come out from the, I, I say, I'm not gonna do this for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this for you. You're gaming the system. I think it's gonna bring all the nice melon notes on the, on the uh, pop tart. There's a lot on the line. Yeah. So uh, I really, you know, I'm not sure my presentation came across the way that I intended. Yeah. You know, there's prizes on the line, right? No. Yeah. You know the consolation prize is? No. <laughs> my work speaks for itself. Tell me when. That's good. How about a little bit more? <laughs> Thank That's, you. <laughs> and the winner is? I'm sorry. No, no! Boom! I'm in the process of, of converting Mr. Pop-Tart here. This is what amounts to a victory lap right now. Trigonometry and analytical geometry all the way up. All right, strudel me, Mooch. I've even got the appropriate pairing whiskey. That's pretty good. Behold, your victor! Oh, sing with me, Whittington! Oh. <coughs> now, it's like a scene from Dark Crystal. One of the things we have going on in the Whiskey Tribe right now is we are having the Magnificent Bastards. Send in logo designs mm -hmm. for... Yes, it's for Crowded Barrel. Yep. They're doing it on Facebook right now by tagging it Crowded Barrel logo or CB logo. Any Magnificent like that. Bastard that's not in the Facebook group, mm -hmm. if you have a really cool logo design idea for the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company... Email it to us. Uh, within the next week, you can send it to Rex and Daniel at WhiskeyTribe.com. Yep. Whoever uh, ends up winning, the logo contest for Crowded Barrel is gonna get one of our first bottlings. That's right. First bottlings of whiskey. So in a recent Vault episode, mm -hmm. he said, hey, everybody, hashtag Wax Rex in the comments. Oh man, did it explode. Yeah. Hundreds. The thing is, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't agree to terms. We didn't agree like, to terms? Nah, nah not I'm doing good. that. Sure. Well, okay, no, so here's what I think is that it should count if we add those up, it should count towards the vote we're holding in yeah. Whiskey Tribe. Nope. Yeah. No, that vote is for uh, patron members. That's for people in the Patreon. Mm. So in the Patreon, that's true. There is an option. Here's what Daniel. Here's how he like the wrench he threw into the entire endeavor. Yeah. We have in the Patreon right now <laughs> because I lost a bet by just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit on what the final number would be <laughs> by multiples, but we'll call yeah. it just a little bit. <laughs> If I lost the bet, then I'm gonna make Daniels the world the, the world shittiest to pay mm. using my own hair. Mm. Now, the thing that I wasn't expecting is whenever I say the exact words, I'll cut off my hair and make Daniels the, the world shittiest to pay. The number of people that heard that and thought he's gonna shave his damn head bald. <laughs> Who the hell said him shave? <laughs> cut off hair is not the same as shaving head bald. You have, it's totally different. You have obviously not been to one of those fundraisers where you shave your head for charity. I didn't say shave. Yeah. I said cut off my hair. I was with him. I was thinking bald. Never meant bald. I have an 18 month old baby girl. She sees me bald. She's going to cry her brains out for a couple of days. <laughs> but you know what? It gets character building. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what happened to you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't need that kind of character. <laughs> so in the Whiskey Tribe, there's. Uh, a vote, there's nine different options for what can happen to my hair mm -hmm. that will result in the world's shittiest toupee for Daniel. Mm -hmm. Because I'm such a sport, we put in bald in one of the nine options. And as I said in the video before that poll, the current vote is gonna choose the three finalists. In first place currently, bald is in the lead. That's true. <laughs> Second place is full body wax. And anything that doesn't have enough body hair to make you a shitty enough toupee, we trim up the Lebowski to, just fill, enough. to fill in those gaps. The third one is just a abomination of a hair thing. <laughs> which I don't even know. It's, <laughs> it's like the line. <laughs> it's, the spine, it's, so, it's so bad. Yeah. So those are the three finalists that we're going into with the yeah. final vote. Here's what I want to do. If you vote for, I can't believe I'm saying this. If you vote for the full body wax, and not the bald. 
then I will set in motion a progression where I go through and deliver every one of those haircuts <laughs> except the bald. All the way through. Because it's incremental enough that you could do all the haircuts. That I could eventually do all one the haircuts time. one at a time. Thanks. And I want to end with, well, I can't end because it'll be too short. I want to include a bonus haircut, the Brushwood Special. <laughs> Back when he was <laughs> the old school, the brushwood. old school brushwood special. Yes, don't make me make my girl cry, you sons of bitches. It really is raining. Let's go inside. All right, all right, Daniel. You're probably curious as to what your consolation prize is. Yeah. Did you end up preferring toaster strudel or pop tart? Pop tart. Pop tart. Cool. Let's make a shit ton of pop tarts and pair it with a shit ton of whiskey, and you can eat the whole day. Oh no! No no no! <laughs> there you go. No. I need a whisk. <laughs> okay. My number one pet peeve in the whole world. Weird texture. Yeah. Can't do it. That's why the smoothies are such a brutal episode. Really? It's your pairing. You like it chunky or smooth? Uh. I can't look at it directly. I hope the camera's aimed correctly. Oh, good thing I'm wearing an apron. Ah! Oh. Yeah. No! I can't do it. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, come on! <laughs>